Hi guys, welcome back. So now that we have covered asset concepts, let's look at a new concept called base, which came into existence with the advent of NoSQL databases. If asset kind of defined relational databases, base defines NoSQL databases. Base stands for basically available, soft state, eventually consistent. Let's first look at what basically available means through an example. Let's assume we have a four node database and my account balance information is available on all four nodes due to replication. Now suppose three nodes are down due to disk failure. I can still retrieve or update my account balance from the one node that is still up. So the database as a whole is still up and available. This is what basically available means. This node based architecture replication and dividing data among different nodes is typical of NoSQL databases like Cassandra. I will be covering these topics when I talk of different types of NoSQL databases available. In a relational database world, this would be hard if not impossible. I would have to locate the backup or do a cutover to a standby slave database if the master went down. Next, let's look at soft state. All this means is that the state of a node is always changing when there is a write or update activity. For example, if my balance is updated by the bank on one node, then that change is transmitted to all other nodes till all nodes have the same balance. This soft state is caused because data is divided into many nodes and there are many replicas of a record to provide high availability. You will not see this in a relational database where there is only one primary or master node. Finally, let's look at eventual consistency, which is probably the most important concept for NoSQL databases. Eventual consistency means that your data in different nodes will start off as different, but will eventually become the same. So for example, if the bank has just cleared a check at t equal to zero milliseconds, then that amount will be synchronized with a copy of my record in all other nodes after a few milliseconds. And if I read my account balance after a few milliseconds, I will get a different value. This is different from a relational database where I can only read my account details till the write is committed or completed and I'll, I will always get the same value. Mind you, this model may not work for all use cases and some industries like banking need full consistency for ensuring integrity of data. That concludes my lecture on base. I hope the concept of base in NoSQL databases is clear to all of you and you were able to appreciate the difference with the asset concept in relational databases. Thank you.